open banking and open finance. What's the difference? With a load of new developments on the horizon, plenty of new terms arise, beginning with the word open that can quickly become perplexing. Unlike what you might be expecting, open banking is not a 24-7 bank that gives away free money. The concept of open banking allows regulated third parties to use APIs to build tools that gather and refine financial data provided by traditional banking. By doing so, it opens up a new world of possibilities when it comes to financial services and products, making them more accessible, personalized and safer than ever. But what is open finance? Simply put, open finance is the next step to open banking. Access to a broader range of financial products and services, more control over personal information, increased involvement in your own finances. Improved financial health is the end target for open finance, which is driven by market innovation and competition. Open finance, once fully implemented, will, for example, enable the creation of financial dashboards that bring together consumer data such as investments, savings and cash flow in one location. Then what's the difference? The primary distinction between open banking and open finance is that one has a legal and regulatory framework while the other does not. Open finance will expand on the concept of open banking by allowing customers' data to be accessed and shared across a wider range of financial products and services. Open finance will give regulated products and services access to a customer's whole financial footprint, similar to how open banking allows regulated products and services to access transactional data from banks.